Well, hello, hello everybody out there. Welcome, welcome. Deshaun here. Lovely to have you all people. You arrived right on time to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, a trivia show that has been seen in more than 130 countries and is not stopping anytime soon. Welcome, welcome. You arrived right on time. We have about a minute now before we begin. Nice to see you all. All there. So, regarding today's uh, trivia, it will be regarding your general knowledge. There will be some fairly, fairly easy questions, but there will be also at least three to four really, really sticky ones. But I will not spoil it too much of the whole surprise. So, as you know, always everything will be gone over and tested. As always, there will be two lifelines 50 50 taking off the two wrong ones and only leaving you with one right one and one wrong one. And of course, popularity vote where you will be able to choose the answers might be the right one. That being said, the prize pool is 1,500 pounds that we're fighting upon. And, ladies and gentlemen, so hope that you're already out there. Let's get to it. Let's start this round and let's start this trivia and let's see how it's gonna go. The first round's warm up ones. So let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're ready. This is the time. Let's jump right into the first question. So, first one. What is the name of Microsoft search engine? Bong, Bing, Bang, or Boom? <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bang, Bing, Bang, <laughs> and Boom. Sorry, I can't really, uh, well, get a straight face when I'm reading these out, but probably the answer is clear for anybody who has interacted with computers because Microsoft is the most, well, known systems that there is out there. So let's find out the right answer on this question. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it is the answer B, Bing. And Bing does give some interesting search results. That can give you a good laugh. Let's move on to the second question. Which item of clothing is also the name for starting up a computer? A sock, shirt, cap, or boot? So for those of you that have uh, tinkered around with computers, this should not be too difficult. So, which of these is the right one? Sock, shirt, cap, or boot? All right, let's find out the right answer on this question, ladies and gentlemen. And the right one answer is boot. Yes, exactly. To boot the system up, that is the way how you go with starting up computers. Let's move on to our third question. Good luck out there. Seems like everybody's getting everything right. Which singer had hits in 2021 with Good For You and Driver's License? Olivia Rodrigo, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, or Ed Sheeran? So, which of these four had the singer uh, hits of a Good For You and Driver's License in 2021? Just recently, might be one of your favorite songs, so probably you'll know that one already. So let's find out. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Rodrigo is the right answer, the answer A. Let's keep moving on with our fourth question. So far, looks like majority holding strong. So, Yule is an old-fashioned term for which period of the year? Summer, spring, Christmas, or Easter? So, the Yule, what does it remind us of? Does it remind us of... Uh, all right, fine, I will not give you any kind of tips on this one. But it should be heard, definitely. You have heard this one before. So let's find out which is the right answer. And the right answer on this question is Christmas indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much everybody got this one correctly. Awesome. Let's keep moving on with our fifth question. Don't forget about those lifelines. So, what is used to flavor a satay sauce often used for dipping? Strawberry, peanuts, coffee, or orange? So what is satay sauce, first of all, and um, what is used to flavor it? So what's the main ingredient out of these? Is it strawberry, peanut, coffee, or orange? Must be some interesting sauces over there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out which is the right answer on this one. And the right answer is peanuts, indeed. Congratulations, pretty much everybody got this one correctly. Let's keep moving on with our sixth question. If they are as easy as it were, well, shouldn't be no problem of acing everything, right? So, the sixth question is, which color is known as azul in Spanish? Blue, red, yellow, or green? So, ladies and gentlemen, azul is blue, red, yellow, or green in Spanish. Those of you that know the Spanish should be a straightforward question for sure. Now, I'm yeah, maybe, maybe the fifth one could have been a little bit different, yeah, but still, you got it correctly. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer on this question is answer A, blue. Congratulations, pretty much everybody has all got this one, right? 
Let's keep moving on with our seventh question. Let's see what's in store on that one. Which of the main character and friends had a pet monkey called Marcel? Joey, Phoebe, Ross, or Chandler? So, which of these four had a pet monkey called Marcel? Goodness gracious, a pet monkey, Marcel. Well, I do know that there are a lot of people who enjoy Friends and have seen it over and over again. So, which is the right answer? The right answer is indeed Ross. Congratulations. Congratulations indeed. Almost all of you got this one. Let's keep moving. Eighth question coming up. Which sport involves navigation and running between points marked on a map? Orienteering, archery, polo, or snowboarding? Well, which of these could it be? Whichever could um, ask you to run in between uh, points marked on a map. Snowboarding, polo, archery, or orienteering? <laughs> All right, let's find out the right answer indeed. Orienteering, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much everybody got this one right. Good, stay sharp. Let's keep moving. Ninth question coming in hot. So, which animal features as supporters on a coat of arms of Botswana? Sloths, rhinos, zebras, or tapirs? So, uh, which of these animals? There's two on the coats of arms, each one on either side. I will not tell you more about it, but which ones do you think? Sloths, rhinos, zebras, or tapirs on the coat of Botswana? And the right answer, ladies and gentlemen, is zebras indeed. You can check it out for yourself just to make sure that that is accurate. And yes, both zebras on either side of the color arms. Let's move on with the 10th question. Which country was ruled in the Middle Ages by a powerful Medici family? France, Ireland, Norway, or Italy? So, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that know your history, it should be easy. For those of you that have played perhaps Assassin's Creed, also it shouldn't be too difficult, right? All right. Enough of that spoilers over there. Hope that you got the right answer. Let's find out if everybody got it. And the right answer is Italy, indeed. Well, still about the same people got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, do keep in mind regarding those lifelines, we have last five questions remaining. So good luck out there and let's hope we can keep this up. So, which day of the week is Jueves in Spanish? Monday, Saturday, Thursday and Friday. And I'm sorry if I butchered that name, Jueves. I'm not a professional, I'm not a Spanish speaker, so, but just the question, Monday, Saturday, Thursday, or Friday? What is it, this one? Are the uh, two questions regarding Spanish language in this quiz? Hmm. All right, let's find out the right answer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Thursday, indeed. Congratulations. Hey, it wasn't too bad, right? Jueves. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's keep moving on with the 12th question. Let's see what's there. Which short word is used to mean an open air swimming pool? Lata, Lido, Lago, or Luto? Okay, well, uh, maybe somebody knows about that. I had no idea that this is called like this. So, good luck there, ladies and gentlemen. And if what, there's always lifelines, you know? Do use them. You don't get extra points if you don't use them. All right, so the right answer on this question is Lido indeed. Congratulations, all but one got so correctly. Nicely done. Moving on with the 13th question. Hopefully it's not jinxed. So, which word describes a word or phrase which reads the same forwards and backwards? Palindrome, onomatopoeia, syncope, or litotes? Boy, these are a little bit tongue twisters out there. So, which of the word describes a word or a phrase which reads the same forwards and backwards? As example for one of those words, for example, madame, can be read the same way forwards and backwards. But let's find out the right answer. The right answer on this one is palindromes. Congratulations, everybody got this one correctly. Lovely. Let's keep moving on, plowing on. Just two more questions, ladies and gents. Stay strong. So, who recorded the song Bad Blood about her fallout with Katy Perry? Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Christina Aguilera, or Britney Spears? So, who had falling out with Katy Perry? Hmm. These stars and their, their shoes and theirs. All right, well, let's find out the right answer, right? The right answer on this question, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed Taylor Swift. Want to add a joke here, but better not, better be respectful, you know? She has a lot of songs about breaking up and about bad blood. I think she's a professional, that. Let's go on, 15th and last question, good luck. Which river flows through Washington, D.C.? Ohio, Snake, 
Potomac or Columbia. So a little bit of geography check out there. If you still have those lifelines, use them. Use them, ladies and gents. Let's guarantee at least something, right? Well, the right answer on this question is, well, there's a lot of answers in chat, but I just hope you answered there correctly as well. All right, so we're looking at answer C, Doma, Potomac. Nicely done. Congratulations to ladies and gentlemen out there. We've got 165 winners out there that are sharing the prize pool of 1,500 pounds in between each other. So well, let me see if there's... Hmm. Almost, almost. Well, first things first, you're welcome, folks. Congratulations to all the winners out there. And just in case if you're interested and want to play around a few more games, there also should be a link or a site right in front of me right now regarding Adventures Beyond Wonderland. So just in case if you're interested, you have a little bit of free time, you might as well take a look. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Name D. Sean. I'll see you next time. So take care of yourself and I'll catch you.